Hello everyone, this is Dr. Murphy bringing you another episode of Banff and Beyond. Today, we will take a look at a 55-year-old male who came in status post-deceased donor renal transplant approximately two years ago, now with increased creatinine. As you can see at this medium power PAS stain section, we have obvious predominant lymphoplasticitic inflammation along with areas of tubular atrophy. And if we go down to a higher magnification on this H&E stain section, we see interstitial edema with inflammation and then looking at the tubules, we have significant acute tubular injury characterized by severe epithelial simplification and reactive nuclear changes as well as epithelial sloughing with associated apoptotic debris. In addition, we had frequent non-atrophic tubules that showed lymphocytic tubulitis, which at first glance would be concerning for acute T-cell media rejection. However, as we look at other tubules, we can see nuclei with a somewhat glassy appearance consistent with viral cytopathic effect. Then, as we move to our SV40 immunohistochemical stain, we can see that frequent nuclei stain positively correlating with the patient's clinical picture. The patient did have a positive BK titer, and thus the biopsy demonstrates polyomavirus nephropathy, PVN class 2, given the positive staining in 1 to 10% of nuclei and moderate interstitial fibrosis and tubular atrophy. See the link below for further characterization of the PVN classification scheme. Thank you for your time, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.